my virtual artist. So I'm going to show you how you can use a window as a light box. So the first thing you need to do when doing this is you need to have a fresh sheet of paper and you need to have your sloppy copy that you are going to trace from. Okay, and the purpose of this is so that when we add a color and shading to our picture, we don't have all of our eraser marks, we don't have all of the indentations in the paper from the pencil. Okay, so the way a light box works is it just lights up from behind and makes um, your lines show through to the next piece of paper. So I'm gonna put my first copy up and then I'm gonna take my second piece of paper, the fresh one, and I'm just gonna line it up right on there. And then I'm just using a small piece of scotch tape at the top. Okay, because on a traditional light box, it's flat, and so it's really not moving around. But it's difficult to hold it onto the window vertically and also to trace it at the same time without it shifting. Okay, so you have to do this during the day. Um, otherwise, there's no light to come through the back. Um, so you're going to simply then, just as softly and as lightly as you can, and this might be a good time to switch to a mechanical pencil if you have one, since you can't press hard with a mechanical pencil or the tip would break. You're going to trace your lines just one time. Now I'm just giving you a heads up. Nobody ever says that their traced copy is better than their original because what it lacks is that sketchy quality um, to your line. Okay, this just makes it a simple contour outline and it makes it feel very basic okay but it's giving you i said it, it, it feels like a fancy coloring book okay so it's giving you all the places that we're going to add that shading to and again we're doing this very lightly because we don't want to see in our final copy all of our original pencil lines super dark and as we go in and apply our colored pencil in our next steps, we are going to be erasing away these pencil lines as we go so that we don't see them in our final copy. We just want the nice colors of our colored pencils to show through. Cast those nice light lines, don't go hard. Now you want to make sure when after you finish we always hang on to our sloppy copy until we're finished with the project okay for a couple of reasons one if something happened to a good copy you lost it or you spilled something on it and you needed to trace a second copy well then you don't have to redraw it so don't get rid of it yet and two when you're practicing your colored pencils um, that's a great place to test things out to test out colors blends shading all of those skills that we're going to get into So once you finish tracing, you can take them off, gently peel off any tape that you put on, and now you have a magical fresh copy to work with. Have fun.